Hola estudiantes, by the time you are watching this, you should be done with half the course now. You've done capítulo 7, 8 y 9. Y ahora estamos listos para capítulo 10. So now we're ready for chapter 10. Um, I've done some of your oral exams so far. A number of you still need to go tomorrow. But the ones I've done so far, I have to say I'm very, very impressed with. You all have come so far from the very first days of hola, como estas, and just the basics. Um, I'm really, really happy with how you are advancing with vocabulary and pronunciation and sentence structure. Um, and I know that it's just going to continue to move forward. So I'm super, super excited to see how everyone ends up doing, especially with your final oral exams, which will be a little different format. And those are beginning to be introduced with this module, with the Capitulo 10 module. You can start looking over how your final ex oral exam will happen, um, the way it's different, and then, of course, please, 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 post questions in the general discussion forum. Let's have a talk about this. I know there's going to be some confusion. I know there's going to become some concerns. So please, let's not put this off. Let's start talking about it now. So, capítulo 10 is tu salud es lo primero. Your health comes first. El listo de objetivos. El vocabulario es sobre salud el cuerpo humano y cosas como eso. So vocabulary over the human body, over health, nutrition, um, talking to a doctor, those type of things. Uh, Grammar-wise, our new grammar concept in this chapter is really mandatos formales, formal commands. So these are commands for the usted y ustedes forms. Um, the great thing about these commands is that they basically follow the subjunctive form. So it's you're learning how to make commands, put together commands in Spanish, but you're doing it with a verb form that we just covered also in capítulo 9. We'll also be looking at, with capítulo 10, the subjunctive to express feelings, emotions, doubt, denial. That already was in the PowerPoint for capítulo 9. And so you can review that and the video lecture and just reinforce those ideas. As I said, with capítulo 9, it makes sense to me to have this all kind of introduced together in the same PowerPoint. You're using the same verbs. Now you're just learning different ways of introducing the subjunctive. So some of those special verbs that you need or um, that introduce the subjunctive. Work-wise, it's pretty much the same. You, of course, have your e-text with all of the audio and the PowerPoints. Um, you will have my Spanish lab homework to do with this chapter, as always. Duolingo, you can keep doing for extra credit. It's not required, but it can give you a nice boost to your homework grade. Um, Michel Tomas, we are on disc five. There is no quiz with this chapter. Um, so there's no way to kind of gauge if you're actually working with it or not. Except for I recommend you don't give up on it simply because Michel Tomas is going to be one of the ways you really work to improve your pronunciation. And he helps with sentence structure. So I would say stick with it. Keep practicing with DISC 5. Um, other homework, you of course have your Carrera de Verbos. Do your verb races. Make sure you post them in the wiki link. Your film this time is La Lengua de las Mariposas. And so you need to watch that film, post in the forum with the prompt, and make sure that you respond to at least one of your classmates. This is a part of the requirement for that. Your composición is Tu Salud. And what I want you to do is describe 
describe tu salud y da recomendaciones a otro estudiante sobre cómo mejorar su salud. So, describe your health. That will be your post, at least three sentences for your composition. And then your response post to another student will be giving recommendations on how somebody else can better their own health. So that you have a prompt this time for both your own um, composition post and then also for your response post to one of your classmates. When you are done with all this work, and especially after you've done all the e-text and the My Spanish Lab, you have examen dos. So your second exam. Your second exam will be over capítulo nueve y capítulo diez. So make sure you've done all the work first. Same, similar anyway format to the first exam. Again, when you receive your score after you first take the exam, that's just a minimum score. Remember that the um, computer can't do things always like recognize accents. It's not going to give you any type of leeway for spelling mistakes or little issues. I have to do all of that. I have to grade these manually. So don't be freaked out by your initial score. Just realize that I will get to them within a couple of days after the exam closes, and then you will get your correct exam grade after I have graded them. So what else? SI and conversation hours, of course, an important part of the class. The SI with Lindsay will help to reinforce grammar and vocabulary points, will help you to better learn and work with the concept in the chapter. Conversation hours with Sarah will help to reinforce your pronunciation, will help to work to improve your use of the spoken Spanish language. And you can start reading over what will be included within the final oral exam and begin working on those within conversation hour as well. So any questions, we know what to do. Post in the general discussion forum, email profe, set up an appointment, and I look forward to getting through the second half of this summer session with you. Adios.